beats us to the punch. Hey there, Bare Knuckle News fans. I am here with Donna 5000. The fight is over, but what a night it was in Biloxi, Mississippi. Donna, let's talk about the fights tonight. New champions, a lot of action, and the crowd was crazy. Of course, 100%. Listen, we came and we delivered. We talked about this, you know, BYB, we make the weekends. We proved that tonight. We do it time and time again. Tonight was historical. We're in February, but you would have sworn it was the 4th of July, how the fireworks <laughs> were going off inside the mighty Trigon. It was so crazy tonight, as a matter of fact, fight fans, I could barely hear the person next to me speaking. So it was, the fans were amazing. They might beat Miami on fans. Listen, when you talk about, you know, entertainment, when you talk about excitement, you know, this is something that people got to come out and experience. You can't, you know, hear about it by word of mouth, you know, and this is our third time here. And every time we've came, we got a better turnout. You know, the, the, the excitement, the TNT in the ring. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better outing. So talk to us a little about some of the fights tonight, because you have a new heavyweight champion, uh, some upsets, some interesting things. We had a, an interesting end of the fight with the two women. Let's kind of go over what happened this evening, if you would, please. Of course, 100%. You know, when you talk about, you know, the women, we had an awesome fight, you know, and... Um, it was, it, it was more or less like, you know, a Rocky come from behind story when one was losing and she rallied back and came back to knock her opponent out. You know, Harry Potter, you know, couldn't have made up a better storyline, even with the wand. There were so many great fights tonight. If I had to pick one, I couldn't. So tell me about some of the highlights of the fights this evening. Well, when you look at Helen Perella, you know, she was the number one female fighter coming in. And unfortunately, you know, she got the, 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 the unintentional headbutt that dampered and put a stop to her reign, you know, um, at least temporarily, because she was really, you know, the one that was pushing the envelope inside the fight. So we're definitely looking for her to come back, you know, at a later time to BYB, you know, and uh, get a chance to showcase her skills and talents to the world. And when you look at Burr, and when you look at Harold Lightning McQueen, you know, that fight there, you know, was explosive. It had more explosive than a stick of TNT, you know, and the antics afterwards by Lightning McQueen, I mean, was, was phenomenal, you know. And then when you look at, you know, the heavyweights, Harry Kane Ike, you know, versus DJ Linderman. You know, those dudes was trading like never before. That hands down probably was fight of the night. In my book, it was a bloodbath. You know, neither one of those guys gave an inch, you know, and tonight, you know, Hurricane Ike, you know what I'm saying, he pulled out the victory. You know, but uh, DJ Linderman, you can't never count him out. I'm pretty sure one fight, two fights, he'll be back at his, at his attempt to take his belt back. And Joshua Oxendine fought through so many eye pokes and injuries. I thought that was a very interesting fight as well. You know, when you talk about getting cracked, that's exactly what he did to his opponent. You know, he laid him out, you know, with that hand. That, that was good money. That shot, if it had a nickname, it would be called good money. And he needed that, he needed that coming yeah. back after a layoff for so long. Mm -hmm. All right, before we go, Todd, is there anything else you want to add to the interview night? 100%. You know, I definitely got to give you a oh, shout out. You. you know, with Bare Knuckle News, you are providing an awesome platform that is needed inside the industry for the fighters, for the promotions. You're a pioneer, and we love you, and we love everything that you're doing. And I just want to say, you know, keep pushing because this is awesome. It gives us a voice to actually be heard on so many different levels. And coming out here tonight, you know, I mean, this right here was just like the cherry on top for you to cover some of these great athletes like DJ Linderman, like Ike, you know, like Burr, like McQueen, and like everybody else that stepped inside that mighty Trigon ring and left it all on the line. Blood, sweat, and tears. You can't make this up, you know. And I just want to say again, thank you for everything that you're doing, and thank you for the love and the support. Well, thank you, Donna. We're always happy to be here. And guess what? What's that? I'm going to corner in your next uh, fight in, in Tampa. I can't tell you who, but that's the plan. Okay, listen, <laughs> that right there is one for the history books, and we can't wait. All right, Donna, thank you so much. What a nice compliment. We appreciate it. We love coming out here to cover BYB Extreme. They always bring the action. They always bring the energy, and that's right. They always bring the weekends, right? You only do it for the weekends. There you go. You only do it for the weekends. All right, so for Bare Knuckle News, I'm Susan Singori, and this is... Donna 5000. And remember, and you know remember, Fight fans, nobody beats us to the punch.